How's it going, everyone? This is China Carter, and you're watching another Wi-Fi battle video. Thank you for watching. We're facing with Stephanie, one of my longtime rifles from way back in black and white, and I'm using a different Pokemon team today. We have a Tornado Stadium form, a Mega Agron with Stealth Rock, and Head Smash. We'll be using Head Smash before going Mega, of course. A choice best Raikou, who works out pretty well in conjunction with Tornadus, just for that awesome team synergy there. A defensive Meganium, a Rapid Spinner, Starmie, and a Auroras with Snow Warring. I'm not sure how well that will be in this battle, but that's what I have here. Alright, so I like starting out with Tornadus because it's a good Pokemon to be a scouter. We get to see what my opponent is going to be doing with her Cosmic Regus here, and we get the information that it's going to go for a Toxic. That worked out pretty well for me, but my Lumberry's gone already in the match, so that's a thing. Now I do take this as a free switching, going to Agron to avoid the Toxic and go with Stealth Ox, get those up, and unfortunately, my opponent has mean luck. That is unfortunate, because I have to stay in. I have to hit it with a head smash, because I chose to, and then my rock head is gone, so I have to take all that damage. That was a great play by my opponent's part. I could have switched out from this Mega Blastoise here, but... It's a Mega Blastoise. And I thought that my Mega Agron could take a Aura Sphere for some reason, but then I realized, oh yeah, Mega Agron actually has higher physical defense. Well, that's a little obvious, but I thought with a little bit of special defense, I could live a Aura Sphere, but no, I don't. But this will allow me to go into my Choice Specs Psycho, which actually takes out the Blastoise with a single Volt Switch because it's a Choice Specs Pokemon. I was actually really pleased about that damage output. I go with the Tornado Stadium for once again, go with a U turn, expecting another Toxic from Furfo now. I go in the Starmie, Ash Song. Now, Ash Song has the ability Natural Cure, which will erase those conditions out when you switch out, so that's awesome. Now with those stealth loss up, Total Kiss is not a problem. Outside of Roost, I can actually take care of Total Kiss quite easily. I could go for an Ice Beam expecting a switch out to Total Kiss, but I had to make that safe play, you know? Expecting a Dazzling Gleam, I go into Raikou, but we end up double switching, and that's fine, I guess, because now we can hit this Furfo with special attacks. She goes for Protect, just trying to see what I'm going to lock myself into. I go for Thunderbolt because it hits pretty much everything. So I was like, okay, you know what? That's obvious of a move to go for. So I'm going to go back into Aston here, who's also a special attacker, and I can hit it with a Surf or something like that. Plus, I was expecting another Toxic, which... I'm okay with. I can always switch out and erase it once again. Now right there, I should have done that, so. But the protect is evident. I thought that was way too obvious, so I kind of was like in the situation where I was like, okay, you might predict that, and so I'm going to stay in and go with a surf. Well, that kind of worked out in some ways. I'm not sure, because in the long run, my opponent is going to be winning this little miniature Star War. Just because I keep staying in and not getting rid of the Toxic, I really should have switched out right there, gone back into my Raikou. But no, I just stayed in and go for an Ice Beam, expecting the Tomicus to come back in. But unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. So all those turns, that was a waste of time, and uh, I'm sorry to start me. I, I really should have played a lot better than I did here. So... That's unfortunate because all that damage from that Toxic is going to rack up and it's going to 
get rid of Skarmy for sure. This will allow me to go on a superpower with my Carnegas here, and unfortunately, with a physically defensive furfell, it's going to take that hit really well. And after this, I thought a superpower at that range would KO it. However, you're going to just be surprised here. Look how much this does. Oh, so close, right? So darn close. I was like, I don't know, I probably should have, just, I don't know. I probably should have gone for a hurricane right there, but the fact that it could miss kind of just hesitates me a little bit. And my tornado's got a little bit of a poison factor in the back there. Too bad I don't have aromatherapy in this battle, but nope, that's neither here nor there. And with that level of HP, I know that Choice Specs will switch is going to KO the Furfo. Just because a Choice Specs will switch was able to KO the Mega Blast Choice earlier. So we go back into Coronatus. I'm actually lucky, I'm lucky bothered by the Toxic being on Coronatus just because I'm going to be switching out a lot. And I have Regenerator as well. So with that said, we're going to do that again. It's going to Blast Choice here. When she switches out and goes into Kodakus, Kodakus is not going to be a problem because, of course, the hail is going to help out, the stealth ox are going to help out, all that. So she chooses to switch out, which actually surprised me a little bit because now she's going to be going down with those stealth ox images. Now, I did predict the Pyroar coming in, and it would also hit the Kodakus as well, so I had to like, make that decision quite wisely there. We got to take out two Pokemon with Aurora Sir, basically, and that leaves with just the Superior, actually. So this is her last Pokemon. I cannot switch out. I mean, I could have gone to Tornadus, but a plus two Leaf Storm? That's kind of like not going to quite cut it, I thought, in my head. So we're going to go into this long Star War. I'm going to speed this up for you guys so you don't have to see all of it. So it's basically my shiny Meganium, which I got from a giveaway. It's going to go for those wonderful classic shenanigans, and hopefully we can stall this thing out to death, because we cannot have a plus 6 or a plus 4 or a plus 2 superior running around. So I had to put it on a timer, and I... I'm pretty sure that's what my game plan there was. I mean, I could have gone to Tornadus at any point, but that power behind Superior's like awesome special attack is just so high. I was actually surprised that this thing wasn't scarfed, because if it was scarfed, then I would have been done for, I guess. I don't know. But we're able to go to Raikou after my game went down, and we just hit it really hard with a hidden power ice, which actually surprised me a little bit because I thought that Superior would be faster than my Raikou. But that's neither here nor there. That was a great battle by me versus Stephanie, one of my great time rifles. If you enjoyed this Wi Fi battle video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys all later with a new upload coming out next week. Alright, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you then. Bye now.